Sam Vatsgano, Udri Mindhurgi, Happy International Day of Human Rights to all citizens of Mongolia and those all around the world. Human rights are the foundation as well as in the front and center of our initiatives to enable inclusive and sustainable development for the achievement of the sustainable development goals in Mongolia, leaving no one behind on its journey towards Vision 2050. 74 years ago, today, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Taking this opportunity, I bring you the good news that the entire UN system is launching a year-long campaign to promote and recognize the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR 75. The year-long campaign, starting today to 10th of December, 2023 will showcase the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by focusing on its legacy, relevance and activism using the slogan, Dignity, Freedom and Justice for All. The UDHR 75 campaign will promote the universality of human rights and empower everyone, especially young people, to stand up for human rights. Since the adoption of the UDHR in 1948, the human rights have been more guaranteed and recognized around the world, including in Mongolia. But the promise of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of Dignity and Equality in Rights has been under grave concerns. The world is facing multiple crises, including the climate emergency, the COVID-19 pandemic, increasing conflicts, economic instability, misinformation, and injustice systems. People are frustrated and have lost trust in what's being seen as inaction and irrelevance of governments and institutions in protecting human rights. On the international stage, Mongolia has been a strong voice for protecting human rights and advancing democratic values. Since 1961, Mongolia has signed and adopted an extensive international and national legislative framework and it is equipped with significant number of judicial and other institutions which are entrusted with promoting and protecting human rights. However, we have witnessed on many occasions, ordinary citizens, especially young people, have been holding peaceful demonstrations, expressed lack of implementation and enforcement of these legislations. Some have expressed concerns about the functioning or even the independence of law enforcement institutions, revealing significant distrust in their capacity to protect human rights and justice. This is critical for these institutions to be solid, independent, transparent and impartial and to be seen as such. Young Mongolians are frustrated not just by their lack of jobs or economic opportunities but also by seemingly ineffective governance and perceived widespread corruption in the system which steals their dreams and future. The National Human Rights Commission of Mongolia has a particular critical role to advance human rights and freedoms in Mongolia. This institution must be trusted by all people in Mongolia and proactively promote and protect human rights as well as the work of civil society actors. Therefore, in order to ensure everyone's fundamental rights are realized and respected, we need a renewed political commitment. We must give voice to all especially those most affected. And I am glad to inform you that the new phase of the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework in Mongolia, UNSDCF, from 2023 to 27 for the next five years, is strongly rooted in human rights principles. We, the United Nations in Mongolia, stand ready to support the government of Mongolia and all other independent institutions in their efforts in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals for inclusive and equitable and sustainable development in Mongolia. Once again, let me wish you a happy Human Rights Day, especially to all courageous human rights defenders and activists. Mashik Baitla, Sansak Nikusi.